And on top business, I say Vice President Yamoshi Banja on Tuesday for the Presidential Villa Abuja, he received the 2019 Compliance Report of the Presidential Executive Order 001 for the promotion of betterment for the business area. Laulo Akande, when we say be our Banja talk talk person for one yan, he said the Vice President Chowe Betaya and say the reforms could bring dramatic changes to Nigeria economy. Oshibanjo say the President Muhammad Obuari administration will continue their Ogbunge worker to reform Nigeria business area until they will get everything when they want. The Minister of State for Industry, Trade and Investment, Miriam Katagun, and the Special Advisor to the President on Ease of Doing Business, Dr. Jumoke Oduwole, and they dropped the report for the meeting of the Presidential Enabling Business Environment Council, PABC. For 2017, inside the World Bank Doing Business Ranking, Nigeria Waka go up enter 24th place and they list them among the top 10 reforming economies for the world. I say innovation series now every year join body of professionals and people when we say they get business when we say be one initiative of verdant zeal. This year conference now to do better off for technology growth. The keynote speaker, Sama Betaya and give Nigeria to adopt technologies when we say they follow with our current realities as Nigeria don't miss out for the 170 1784 mechanical revolution, the 1870 electrical revolution, the internet burst and not be about to miss out for this digital age. Irene Obani, he did there and she filed the report for us. The eighth edition of the Innovation Series, which is an initiative of Vedanzil, was held in Lagos with a focus on how Africa as a continent can leverage on technology for growth. We decided to pursue legacy by instituting the Innovation Series, which we have designed to discuss Africa's developmental issues that borders on technology, how we can harness our youthful population, issues around entrepreneurship, leadership, and of course, issues around my own profession, which is still primarily branding and, um, and marketing and positioning. Our situation in Africa it's not the situation in Europe, it's not the situation in Asia, it's not the situation in America. So if you are going to apply technology, you have to apply it in a manner that solves challenges in our environment. And our needs are very basic. As you know, we are in a recessed economy. It's not ideal at this time to increase any tax rates. So the, the best, our best bet is to try and widen the tax net and increase the number of taxpayers. And uh, that is one heavy objective that, that is on our minds all the time. And uh, to do this, we definitely must leverage on technology. Gone are the days where we did things manually. Technology has really helped reduce the price of most things significantly. And now, instead of just uh, a few people having access to, to leading things in the world, technology is now giving you the opportunity to have these things at your fingertips at a fraction of the cost. I get very excited when I go for some of these trade shows, and you see the number of young people that are bringing in all manner of innovation into the agricultural value chain. So things are definitely um, changing. For PLOS TV Africa, Irene Ubani. For the close of Tuesday trade, Zenit Bank lead the list of top trades as they sell over 6 billion naira valued shares. At the close of trade on Tuesday, the All Share Index was down by 0.09% to close at 26,365.83. Total deals recorded was 2,780 with an equity capitalization of 12.834 trillion naira. Leading the list of top gainers was Stambic, which closed at a share price value of 37 naira per share, while CCNN closed at a share price value of 16 naira per share. On the list of top decliners was MTN Nigeria, which dropped to a share price value of 129 naira per share, while Etana dropped to a share price value of 2 naira 85 cobble per share. Leading the list of top trades was Zenith Bank, with a volume of 357.226 million shares traded, at a value of 6.180 billion naira. And on sectorial indices, NSE insurance was down by 0.32%. NSE oil and gas remained unchanged. NSE banking was up by 0.09%. NSE consumer goods was down 
by 0.03% and NS Industrial was up by 0.19%. And in the Lagos parallel market, the Naira traded to the dollar, buying at 358 Naira to a dollar and selling at 360 Naira to a dollar. The Naira traded at 457 Naira, buying price to a pound, and traded at 463 Naira, selling price to a pound. The Naira also bought at 397 Naira to a euro and traded at 403 Naira to a euro.